this video is about the use of symbolic placement of devices feature for layout in Cadence Virtuoso. For demonstration purpose, I have considered a NAND gate with four transistors. Once the schematic design is complete, then convert the design into layout using the feature called symbolic placement of devices. To perform that symbolic placement of devices, go to the launch, click on layout Excel. It opens a pop up with saying create view, click OK. The layout view right now you have two views one is schematic the second one is the layout adjust these two windows Now to use the feature called symbolic placement of devices for this circuit in the schematic, select the transistors. Let me close this window first. This is the schematic which I want to perform the symbolic placement of devices. Select these transistors from this navigator window. You can select from here also. All the four transistors are selected. Just right click and click on generate symbolic placement. You can use the option here, click yes, this is the view of this NAND gate. This is the symbolic view of the NAND gate. You have the VDD, you can just select this so that this is the transistor and this transistor is selected. Similarly, these two transistors are in series. It shows or the canvas shows the layers. We have different options that are available in this SPD editing window like you can use this options like flight lines both so now you have the lines as well as the design you can use gate only now only the gate connections are made this in between is the symbolic device similarly you can have only flight lines or active active in the sense the supply this shows the orientation of the pmos and this shows the orientation of the nmos the device names are named as pm1 for pmos and pm0 for pmos similarly for nmos i want to have the both lines and the track 1 shows the number of metal layers used for this design and we have other options as well like probe the net select the option called probe the net it shows the connections how they are connected 
Similarly, only if I want to select the VDD, how the VDD is connected. Check for the ground, only one ground as in schematic. You can observe in the schematic as well. And if you want to erase all of this, just click on clear all the probes. Next option. Next, we have certain features in this particular SPD editing canvas. The first one is called Abut. To use this called Abut, first select the device, move it to a distance. Now I can say that these two devices are not chained or connected. So to perform the Abut, you can select this Abut. This select the edges which you want to make the connections. Now they are connected. Similarly, you have other options. Just move apart. This one also. So to make the abut of all these devices at a time, select the entire design then you can click on abut all here you have the option click on it it performs a automatic abut suppose if i want to separate these two devices you have option called unabut select this now you have just click on it to separate the devices. You can again about all. Suppose if I want to use another feature, unabut all, it automatically separates all the devices as individual. Similarly, you can add the dummies to these transistors. How to add is first select the cells to which you want to add the dummies. I have selected for PMOS which is shown in the left as well. Click on this and add dummy to both or only on the left whatever you want and select the right net which is VDD because I am selecting only the PMOS. Click OK. See this, the dummy cells are placed. If you want, you can connect them or else you can just remove by using the delete. Or you can undo them because I have deleted the PMOS. Delete the dummy cell. Again, you can reset the to remove the space. You can pack all and you can click on about all. And one more option if I want, if I am placing any components in the schematic, like suppose select this particular transistor, I want to add one more to this. Now, I want to have the symbolic placement of this device as well this one so to perform that we have options called place append selected from the source so first you need to select the device then go to the spd editing window go to the place append now it place it is selected and it is showing the space for me now, the selected device is this. This is what we have placed. So, you can do lot of modifications. Now, I want, I have considered this four transistor schematic to perform the layout. To perform the layout, you can view the layout 
by going to preview layout. Click on yes. It opens another canvas window where we have the cell height is given and the butt of these two transistor is done and these two transistor are in a series. So a butt has been done and you can measure that and if you want you can generate the layout of that. You can directly click here or you can to go back from this design you can go back or directly click on use the option preview layout to see the how the devices are connected like both are pmos and these are nmos with a definite cell height and you can generate the layout of this and you, you can place that in the layout excel or use the other option from here itself you can place the layout like click on generate layout now it enters into the new window of observe that it is a layout suit once these are done you can directly place the devices And this shows how you can make the connections like the same where you can have lot of options to create the PR boundary and get the pin names into the design and complete the layout.